I just want to give you a brief introduction as to how Stride Free came about and where it all started basically before in the racing game before it even went into the, into the equestrian industry. So uh, knowing what's inside saddles, saddle trees haven't changed shape in over 300 years. And even in, in your racing saddles, you know, I started pulling race and, and training saddles apart. Knowing what I know about the, uh, a bit about the horse anatomy uh, in a horse, it really came into play when I started looking at saddle trees and how it affects the horse. <coughs> I'll start with the, um, the actual shoulder blade of a horse, the scapula, and here's the end of the shoulder blade there. But basically, the horse's shoulder is this here. And the shoulder blade, the scapula, is um, mostly bone, but this top section here is cartilage. This part here, it's a so, so it's a soft bone, which like in your tip of your nose, and your cartilage in your ears, it's a soft bone. Um, then we've got this important trapezius muscle. You can see this faint line here in the horse's neck, there and across here. So there's a muscle called your trapezius muscle, a big triangular one. Uh, we have the same muscle at the base of our neck, basically here. And you know how painful it can be if someone pinches you there, they use it in martial arts and everything. So with a horse, it's actually attached to the horse's shoulder blade and it's the muscle when a horse takes, every step the horse takes is because of the trapezius muscle. Without that trapezius, it would not be able to move its leg up, out, jumping, tucking its legs up. Then if I go uh, to the edge of the horse's rib cage, well, wait, here's soft muscle and then the edge of the horse's rib cage is here. The last rib on a horse, without taking x-ray, if you, get, you run your hands together like this where the hair runs together like that in the flank area, you run a line straight up there like that. Okay. So what I'm doing is, along here as well, if I run my hands up this uh, longissimus dorsi muscle, it's a big powerful muscle, ropey muscle, big thick ropey muscle through here. Um, that's what carries, holds the horses back up. So it's a very strong muscle. So when you look at the original trees, which by the way, haven't changed in hundreds of years, you know, the, the shape hasn't changed much, the materials have, but not the shape of the tree. So imagine now your shoulder blade is rotating back and the bulk of the shoulder has to squeeze under these tree points. Yeah, squeeze under these tree points here. That now puts tension and tightness on the trapezius muscle, therefore restricting the horse's shoulder movement. And what can happen is when the horse's trapezius muscles pinch, they can tend to bring their head up. If they bring their head up, the back hollows out. And that's where I was talking about some cases of uh, you get kissing spine. It's generally always around the base of the wither here. So not back there so much or up here. It's usually there because when they hollow their back um, from too much pressure pressing in from the base of the tree, uh, you can get these vertebrae touching each other and that's that creates spasms in the horse and reacts as in a way that they perhaps you know throw their head up or pig root or buck or even in some bad cases rear up. So now when you take a, a stride free tree the next stage was to get something more comfortable for the horse and you can see right away that put that and compare that in the same position on the horse there We've totally eliminated the tree points. Um, it now comes back further, and these are flexible, like this. So it moves with the horse's back. That to me is far more comfortable on the horse. We've also got an opening here for that allowed the horse, the shoulders to move and slide under there. You see, so that's um, that's how the stride free tree came about. And just looking at a few basic muscles of the horse that um, are affected by bad fitting saddles, you know.